because Deb is like the girlfriend and Valerie is the side piece. That's the way I see it. Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which you most likely are, welcome to my little family. My name is Jada. Today we're gonna be talking about Love Island USA season four, episode three. So I'm gonna try to make this quick. I'm, tr I'm trying to record this before I go to work. Uh, <laughs> Cause I, I couldn't record this last night cause I went out on a date with my boyfriend and I didn't get back home until like 1.30 in the morning. So yeah, we're doing this now. <laughs> So I don't want to waste any time. So let's just, you know, jump right into the good stuff. Okay. We jump into this episode from where we left off before with Valerie uh, choosing who she wants to couple up with. And she ends up coupling up with Jesse. So my prediction was wrong because I really thought she was going to choose Isaiah. She was so excited. Jesse seemed happy too when he walked up, gave her a nice squeeze. Wow. Can you actually see my pimple patches? I'm just not realizing that. Like I have multiple <laughs> pimple badges on. She chooses Jesse and they're both really happy. Deb does not seem so happy. Deb gets a text saying that there's going to be a recoupling at the end of the week. We don't know if it's going to be the guys choosing or the girls choosing. What I realize is, well, what I what I think is, depending on how the drama unfolds during the week determines whether the guys or the girls are going to choose. Because Valerie and Deb seem so set on Jesse, the guys may end up choosing who they want to couple up with just to add in that, you know, dramatic tension there. After the mini recoupling, Jesse and Valerie go to have their conversation. Valerie gets a little bit emotional saying that like, Choosing you was what I felt like was better for me, not just going for looks, but like you make me feel safe, which is which is important. And she just she was just talking about how happy she was to choose him. And Jesse was saying that he is still feeling dead, but because he's coupled up with Valerie, he wants to give Valerie more of the attention. That is it. Just because you are coupled up with Valerie doesn't mean that you should stop growing your connection with Deb. Like no one's in a solid relationship yet. Like it's literally day three. So there's room to, you know, move around, wiggle around and all that stuff. Fast forward to Andy and Maddie. They both are just happy to be with each other. Andy was happy that Maddie chose him. Then Andy goes in for the smoocheroo, which kind of shocked Maddie. But she did say that she likes a guy that uh, takes charge and is more like forward. Him kissing her, I'm sure that made her happy and like taking initiative and everything like that. Pan over to Zeta and Timmy. They're basically talking and reassuring each other about their connection, how much they are feeling each other, which is amazing. I was kind of skeptical about them just, well, not about them, but mostly about Timmy because of his attraction to Zeta's accent. But now it seems like it's growing a little bit past that, which I'm so happy about. Ugh, yes, I love my girl Zeta. She deserves the world. We love a black girl to infinity to infinity. <laughs> I just don't want to get too attached to them because it is early on, but I like where this is going. Ooh. Oh, just a really quick mention. Really, really, really quick mention. Courtney's interested in Felipe? Okay. All right. That's... I didn't see that. I didn't really see that coming. So this is just a quick mention. Before everybody goes to bed, right? Valerie's just so excited to be sharing a bed with uh, Jesse and everything. And then she, uh, Valerie's walking past Andy. But then, <laughs> and and Andy says to her like, oh yeah, he's excited too. He's excited too to share a bed with you. And then when she walks through the door, like out the room, he was like, oh, and he's excited about uh, Deb as well. Being shady. I did not see Andy being a little shade queen. Okay, okay, I see you. Uh, but it's true though. It, it's not like he was lying, he was telling the truth. Like, Jesse don't know what he want. <laughs> and I can't talk about nighttime. I can't talk about bedtime, nighttime without mentioning that Timmy and Zeta were sharing kisses at night. Mm -hmm. They're getting close, guys. They're getting close. And it's so nice. I will be so heartbroken if they don't make it. Which they most likely won't, but I hope they do. I don't know. We got six weeks, people. We got six weeks. So I don't know. The next morning, the girls and the guys go into their little powwows like they do every morning. And Valerie was expressing how much she enjoyed cuddling with Jesse and, you know, enjoyed being in bed with him. But you can clearly see how that was making Deb 
uncomfortable. I feel so bad because Deb really does like Jesse, but she's just not. I don't know, I just don't see her fighting for it. I don't see her going for it. She did say later on in the episode that when there is another girl, she normally does like take a back seat. Like she doesn't really fight for it. But in this situation, babe, you have to fight for it. Like if you want this man, you have to tell this man, you have to let it be known. It doesn't, you can step on people's toes, even if it does make them uncomfortable. Like you gotta do what you gotta do in Love Island to get what you want, okay? Speaking of this whole new, well, Love Island's first love triangle, Jesse pulls Zeta and asks her about how Deb is feeling about him, which one I feel like is weird because like, why don't you just ask Deb how Deb is feeling about you instead of Zeta? Cause Zeta's not Deb, but whatever. Zeta basically says what we all know, Deb is still attracted to him. She does like him. She was really excited. She's not looking at any other guys um, and he basically reciprocates that emotion and says like oh i am attracted to valerie she is hot but i do have i if i have to choose between the two who i'm more attracted to i am more attracted to deb because i know deb better and she's my type whatever whatever and then valerie walks up and jesse acts as if he didn't just say all that good stuff about val i mean about deb he is so confusing guys Jesse is so confusing. He, the more it's, uh, the more I learned about him or the more he reveals about himself on this show, he gets less and less and less attractive to me. Like my guy, you're not dating on the outside world. You, you, you're in Love Island. You have to be more of a communicator directly to people on here because fast, like fast forward to just Jesse and Val talking. He says, basically, he doesn't have any feelings about anybody else in the villa when he's talking to Valerie. But that's a lie. You just said less than five, ten minutes ago to Zeta that you are more attracted to Deb than you are to Valerie. But yet you're in Valerie's face telling her that she, you're only attracted to her. Please make that make sense. Because right now, you are looking like a walking red flag to me, sir. My opinion, I think that Jesse likes Deb more than he likes Val. And he just really wants, like, if it was the real world, Jesse would just fuck Val and then go back to Jesse. Jesse would fuck Val and then go back to Deb. Because Deb is like the girlfriend and Valerie is the side piece. That's the way I see it. Oh, and also, I noticed that there's like a clear, distinct difference between how jesse talks to val versus how he talks to uh deb like when he talks to deb he's actually adding to the conversation like if you go back to the first episode to like the first few conversations they're actually bouncing off each other and having a productive conversation but when jesse is talking to val it's a lot of yeah 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 i'm happy you feel that way yeah yeah for sure for sure yeah I, I don't know. That's just something I noticed. <laughs> oh, and Deb is just so cute. Her whole, man ain't shit. Man ain't shit. Listen, I can't, I never claim to be a singer. Deb is just grabbing my heart. I love this girl. I, I really do love her. I just really want her to fight for, like, fight for what she wants. Even though she can do better than Jessie. But still, like, fight for what you want, babe. Besides the love triangle of Jessie, Val, and Deb, Sydney and Isaiah are kind of having, well, I don't say they're having issues, but they're having their own moment here, um, stemming from last episode when they had like that little miscommunication. I don't even know what that was because it wasn't a fight. Like they didn't, they haven't talked all day. Sydney is just kind of confused because she just wants to know where Isaiah's head is at with her because she likes him, but the way that he's communicating to her, she just doesn't know. So she just wants clarity from him. Uh, so really, really quick, I just honorable mention here because I'm going in show order, by the way, to just congratulate and be thankful that our girl Serenity finally got out of the sunken place with Felipe. So happy, so happy she can move on. I'm so happy that she realized that they're just friends, but it's kind of weird to me that Felipe knows that they're just friends too, but he wants physical affection from her and attention from her, which doesn't make sense to me unless he still think unless he still thinks that she's attracted to him in that way so he can still get that little attention I guess that he's maybe used to. I don't know, but like it's weird to me that he wants her to 
be affectionate with him even though he's not attracted to her like that and sees her as a friend whatever valerie and isaiah have a little powwow together just to clarify because it was as we all know it was between basically um jesse and isaiah so valerie just wanted to go back and have a conversation with isaiah just to let him know like hey I think you're attractive, I think you're hot. In the outside world, you know, we would definitely hook up. But um, after our conversation, and then I had a conversation with Jesse, I realized that we're not on the same mental level. I'm just gonna choose Jesse because he gives me what I need up here. <laughs> That's what I got from the conversation. Through this conversation, we learned that Isaiah hasn't been in a relationship in three years and he's 21. So he hasn't been in a relationship since he was 18 years old. Which isn't bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing. Just thinking about the difference of when I was like 18 versus 21, I was not the same maturity level, mental level, like life level. Isaiah basically says, that he said he forgot how to communicate with a girl because he hasn't been with one in three years, which seems weird to me. Zeta and Timmy have another conversation, getting a little bit more closer to each other. Timmy basically says that he is ready to put his guard down to talk to Zeta, to get to know Zeta better, and Zeta as well. She just really, they really are just happy to get to know each other. I love seeing like them opening up to each other and being more relatable. I just thought it was a little bit too soon to be talking about love, but hey, we're on Love Island, so let's just dump, jump right into the deep end. Why don't we? So Courtney, I guess, going back to Courtney and Felipe, they finally have a conversation and Courtney literally just straightforward. I like the, this girl is just so, Courtney is just so straightforward. She literally just said to him, don't you feel the sexual tension between us? I'm like, damn girl, you couldn't like ease your way into it. Just going off, you know, just going straight for the jugular. Just going straight for it. I respect it. I respect it. Felipe agrees. <laughs> Felipe agrees. I guess they're going to try to start to get to know each other better. In my eyes, I just see it as just a sexual connection. Like I think she just wants to have sex with him and then really that's it. Because all she kept saying was the sexual tension, sexual connection, sexual, sexual, sexual. To me, that just means that she just wants to hook up with him. I don't see, like she wasn't saying anything about getting to know him as a person really. Like she mentioned it really quickly, but sexual thing overshadowed that. So I don't really see that she wants to get to know him as a person. She just wants him as like, I guess a fuck buddy possibly. Mm. So finally, Sydney and Isaiah have a conversation to clarify what happened the night before. Sydney opens up and reveals that in her first relationship, she, it was basically really toxic and the guy was manipulative and just would talk to her very really disrespe disrespectfully. And the way that Isaiah was talking to her the night before, the way he made his comment towards her the night before, triggered her back to that time in that toxic relationship, which is super understandable. And Isaiah basically responds and says, like he apologizes and he says that, listen, like the way I communicated to you, I realized was like immature and I should be doing better. Better, which is nice which is good we love we love an accountability king we do we love a person that takes accountability over here i respect the fact that sydney wants to kind of slow things down with isaiah she said that like she'll forgive him but she won't forget that this happened i'm sure like if he does something again to her she's i i want to say she's going to be out i hope she is because she doesn't deserve somebody to make her feel that way or to be triggered in that way isaiah needs to get it together with his communication skills but earlier i called it in the first episode that this kid is going to have a little bit of issues when it comes to talking about his feelings in a healthy manner about expressing himself in a healthy way so finally we get to finally we get to nighttime and deb and courtney gather all the house guests house guests this is not big brother <laughs> they gather all the islanders and they play a game of truth or dare i'm just gonna run through all the the truths and the dares of who did what the first one was felipe was dared to kiss someone that he was attracted to that's not his couple and as we as we know he chose courtney and they made out she loved it <laughs> he loved it there we go. Timmy chose truth and his question was, who would you couple up with if you weren't with Zeta? And he said, Maddie. Kind, I mean, is that, that is kind of shocking to me. I'm kind of like surprised. That's a big like jump in type, like 
Zeta and Maddie are literally completely opposite people, but Zeta didn't, Zeta honestly wasn't even bothered. <laughs> she was like, listen, I like a little bit of jealousy in my relationships. That just shows me that I care, okay? <laughs> so Zeta chose Dare and her dare was to lick honey off of another Islander's body part. And she chose Isaiah and she licked honey off of his nipple and it, it looked like he was enjoying himself and she looked like she was enjoying herself too. And Timmy, oh, Timmy looked a little jealous. Timmy was like, don't enjoy that a little bit too much. That's my girl, that's my woman. Val chose Dare, and the Dare was to choose an Islander to lick whipped cream off of her bare ass. And who did she choose? Jesse, we're not surprised. And that was kind of hot. That was kind of hot. I smacked her ass. <laughs> and then lastly, Jesse chose Dare, and his Dare was to kiss all the girls and to say who was the best kisser. Messy. They're just so messy, I can't. So obviously he makes out with all the girls and he chose Deb as the best kisser. Valerie looked like she wasn't enjoying that. She actually said she didn't enjoy it. She doesn't like it. <laughs> she wishes that she did, but she didn't like it. And after Jesse chose Deb as like the best kisser, they ended up making out again. I don't know if that was editing, but they made out again. So on the next episode, it looks like we're gonna be getting a new guy finally from the pants of his face and his body we know that he's a bl blonde with long hair long cur i mean long curly hair and that's and that's it so i'm really excited to see who he's who he's into who's into him i don't know i think that maybe sydney may give him the time of day actually no i don't know I don't know if any of the girls are actually into blondes i just realized that like none of the guys here are blondes they're all brunette guys like darker features so i don't even know which girl is really going to be into him but all right guys that's it for this recap and review of love island episode three hopefully i get this video up quick because now i have to get ready to go to work but don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel let me know your thoughts on who you think would be attracted to the new guy because i have absolutely no idea um oh i forgot about courtney courtney might be attracted to him too I don't know, but just let me know what you guys think. So I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Adios.